Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, it is Friday and it is time for another episode of Friday's Finds. I just had a big box put on the front porch. I don't recall ordering anything of this size. So let's open it up and see what's in it. I know Yappy will be excited to hear what's in it because she's just dying to know what's in that big box. And it's another big box. And it says, Kemp Lux. <laughs> oh, I remember now what that is. It's gonna be a hot one to do. Looky there. replace the battery in the camera so we do have a new channel sponsor Camp Lux reached out to me a few days ago and asked me if I like to play with fire <laughs> and the answer was well of course I like to play with fire and so they sent me a, a propane fire pit So I gotta do a little education. I gotta get it. I gotta educate myself on how this thing puts together and then I'll come back. Let me read some instructions. Assembly was very simple. <laughs> Basically you just dump the rocks in it. The hose was already connected. Now it did come with these really cool legs that go on the propane bottle to make it more stable. We'll have to wait until evening when it gets a little darker to truly experience the flame on the Camp Lux portable fire pit. It got chilly. It's kind of kind of strange for the end of May here in in Texas for us to get chilly, but we've had a major cold front come through and. The temperature's now in like the low 60s. It's, it's, I need to put my pants back on. I'm wearing shorts, by the way. Not like I'm, not like I'm naked. Anyway, I got the fire lit, so cold air got here just in time for me to demo the, the fire pit here. It's the Camp Lux. Propane fire Works pretty good works really good. I really like the the big knob is easy to control it Doesn't have an igniter, but I get that's all right It would be nice if it had a, a pop igniter, but It definitely pulls out some heat Which is a good thing So Camp Lux the Camp Lux propane campfire perfect for those chilly end of spring cold fronts that we get here we rarely ever rarely ever get these anyway camp lux fire pits i'm i'm very pleased with that there's a few things that i like about it there's a few things i like there's a few things that i don't like what i like it, it's stylish I like that it's up off the ground and it's got a great base. I really like the hose. It's nice and long hose that came with it. I like the the legs that came with it for the, the propane bottle to stabilize that. One thing I don't like about it, it doesn't have a lid. So it did not come with a lid. And that would, that would, that'll be important when we try to transport this. 
And while we're on the topic of transport, I think it st stands up a little too tall for, it's gonna take up unnecessary space. And those are really the only two things I don't like about it. There's no lid to keep the, the rocks in place. And it stands up a little bit high. I think we could we could shave off like three inches right there and it would be just as good. I guess there's two drawbacks to a gas fire pit. One right now is the price of fuel is is rather exorbitant. The other is there's you're missing that that campfire smell, that old factory experience of of the, the just the smell of burning wood. Well, if I have come up with a solution here at, at with, with my fire pits. I have a I have a solution to that problem, and that is a pellet tube. So when sometimes when I'm cooking on my gas grill, I want a little smoke flavor, and I have a smoke tube. I put pellets in it and they smolder and they smoke well i've stuck that into the rocks and now we have that i use a competition blend oh, get over here there was there's some light i use a competition blend pellet in my my pellet grill and it's it's hardwoods and fruit woods and so it's just a really good smell and it really gives you that that campfire essence so it's not quite as generic with you know the flame is is always going to be kind of generic uh, compared to a wood fire but the smell from or lack thereof from your gas fire pit it, it's kind of a letdown but now we've got the pellets in there and they've they've just I've just lit them so they're not really smoking a whole lot, but I gotta give it a few minutes and I'll come back and cut this in. propane campfire we're done hey if this is your first visit to dude rv i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you i truly appreciate that i'll be back out on the road tomorrow headed to a new place a new adventure and for my patrons i don't have a cover so thank you i, I am most grateful all right now, y'all come back. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?